It's five o'clock in the morning The conversation got boring You said you'd go into bed soon I am Professor Scruffy from Mystery Panda Productions. Today I will be showing you a math tutorial on long division. But before that, I must show you the rules of divisibility. Yes. Okay, so firstly, divisibility by one. This is dead simple. Okay, one. Any number can be divided by one. Any, any, any number. It's a wonderful number, because you don't have to think. Another dead simple number. Now, the number two. Any number that is even can be divided by number two. This is a no-brainer. Now, the number three, the sum of the digits of a number, say, three, one, five, three hundred and fifteen. Now, the way to work this out would be three plus one plus five. That would be nine. So, it would be nine, and nine is divisible by three, so that would mean that the whole number is divisible by three. Wonderful. Okay, so now the number four. Four. To do this, say you have the number three, one, six. You have to look at the last two digits. And then, that is 16. 16. Now, 16 is divisible by 4. So that would mean that the whole number is divisible by 4. Okay, so now, the number 5. If, say, um, 115, 115. That number can be divided by 5 as the end number ends in a 5. If the end number ends with a 5 or a 0, that means it can be divided by 5. It is very interesting in math, as 0 can be something. 0 can be something, but usually, it, in 0 would be nothing in life. Now I will be doing number six. I think number six is a very cyber number, but I do not know why I think this. Number six. The example will be three, one, Eight. To do this, the number must be even and the sum of the digits must be a multiple of three. This would mean that it is divisible by the number six. Delete. Delete. This is a complex one. To do number seven, just you have to learn your seven times table. So now we will be doing the number eight. Eight. And our example will be three, three, two. Yes. To do this, to see if it, that is divisible by 8, we have to look at the last two digits, which will be 32. Then divide 32 by 4, which will be 8. 
and then the eight. Then you have to divide that by two, which will be four. As it probably have a decimal at the end, that means it is divisible by eight. So three three two is divisible by eight. Woo woo! If da, let's say the number nine. Let's say the example will be three three three. three. To see if three hundred and thirty three is divisible by nine, you must do this. Add the digits together that we make nine. Then if the answer is 9 or a multiple of 9 that means that the whole number is divisible by 9 interesting yes yeah Dum, 9 yeah so now the number 10 to see if a number is divisible by 10, you have to see if the number ends with a zero. This number ends with a zero, so it is divisible by 10. Simples. Hello! Now I will be showing you how to do long division. Now, so let's say it is... 4,280 divided by 16. Now we have to make those numbers smaller to do it the easiest way. So we fractionalize it as that is the easiest way. Easiest, easiest, easiest way. So 4,280 over 16. Now because we know the rules of divisibility, we will know that 8 goes into both of these numbers. So, 8 goes into that two times. Then, how many times does 8 go into that? This is how you do it. 8 goes into 4? No, it doesn't. Does 8 go into 2? I mean, 42? Um, yes, it does. And that will be 5 times, and the remainder would be 2. And then does 8 go into 28? Yes. Three times and the remainder will be 4. And now does 8 go into 40? Yes. Five times. So now it will be 535 five over 2. Okay, so now it is 535 divided by 2. So we have to do this. How many times does 2 go into 5? That will be twice. Then the remainder would be 1. So then you bring the 3 down and that would be 13. How many times does 2 go into 13? It goes into 13 6 times. Now, because you have a remainder, you have to bring the 1 down and then bring the 5 down. Now, how many times does 2 go into 15? It goes into it 7 times! So, but you still have a remainder of 1. So 1 goes here. But then, you don't have any more numbers, so it becomes a decimal point. And you put, put a 0 here. How many times does 2 go into 10? 5 times. So you put the 5 here. So it is 267.5! you do long division when I get older I will be stronger they'll call me freedom just like a waving flag when I get older